name is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie. I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make $100,000 a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, because all I pick is winners. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks. Money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're tuned into the VIP Sports Podcast. I'm Darren Notero, a.k.a. Steve Stevens, the bookie killer, sitting here with my ride-along host, the paparazzi. Good morning, brother. Man, what's up? How you doing? I'm excited, man. We got a great show for these guys today. We do. Uh, We're going to do a nice little giveaway today. Uh, As promised, I'm going to give away one of my master closer 101 courses to some lucky winner out there today. That could change somebody's life. It could change somebody's life. It will change somebody's life. It will change somebody's life. $598 value. One of you lucky guys are going to win. Very excited. As you know, baseball's coming back July 23rd. Correct. In the last seven days since we opened back up VIP Sports, 97 pre-orders for baseball. Congratulations to everybody that took advantage of that. Make sure you look for the promotions that I'm running. Make sure you get involved in that early bird uh, promotions so you're ready to go on opening day. July 23rd will be here before you know it, and uh, you need to make sure that you start this season off with a bang, if you know what I mean. The Yankees and the Nationals, that's about as good a game as uh, we're going to get to start off. I couldn't be more excited, you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, uh, welcome back. As you know, we're filming our podcast live and direct from my studio here at VIP Sports in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, which is hot as a pistol today. I think you noticed that yesterday on the golf course. Oh, my God, dude. You know, I'm not going to lie, though. Even when I go play 18 holes, I'm only like a 12, 13 hole type guy. You know, I got ADD. Even though I'm very good at golf, I get very tired of it very quick. For those golfers out there that think they can outdrive Steve Stevens, go ahead and email me. Let me know how much money you want to bet, and we can go out there. This skinny motherfucker's driving 315, 320 on the regular. But, uh, you know, dry, I, I'm coming, coming about 10 feet away from a couple par fours over there at Angel Park. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, these guys should know. You're, you're being very serious. If you guys come into town, stop over here, get a package with him, go make your bets, make yourself some money, and then go hit the golf course with him. He does go out with his clients all the time. Oh, absolutely. You get involved in my personal package, I'm going to cater you and show you VIP treatment out here in Las Vegas. Anyway, today's Ju- July 9th, 2020, podcast number 272. Wow, we're rolling What up the fuck are you going to do besides make that money? Everybody started off 2020 with a fucked up year. We're going to finish out with a bang. I mean, if anybody was affected by COVID, uh, it was me. I'm a guy that went from making 50000 plus a week to zero. I mean, if you would have asked me, what would you rather had, your income cut off or the COVID disease, I would have took COVID all day long. Yeah, I mean, if, if somebody would have told you you're going to be sick for a couple of weeks and recover or uh, just take away your 50000 I know you. Or, you or take taken... away a half a million for me over the last four months? Yeah. I would have took the COVID and ingested that shit and spit it out like a fucking bitch all day long. I, I think every one of these guys uh, would, would feel the same. <laughs> Anyway, guys, if you're just tuning into our show, the VIP Sports Podcast is all about the legalization of sports betting. Uh, We're not like ESPN. Our job isn't to go over every line and tell you a bunch of bullshit. My job is to give you value and tell you how to make more money betting sports than any other fucking investment in the world. As you guys know, sports betting is a trillion dollar industry and there's more money to be made in sports betting than any other investment in the world. So for all you guys out there, make sure you look for my early bird specials, make sure you sign up for promotions and be ready to fucking rock and roll July 23rd because I'm going to knock these bookies head off. They don't call me bookie killer for nothing, Poppy. No, and the bubble started over there for the NBA and uh, I can let you guys know that Already a couple of sources in that bubble have made a uh, call or two to uh, somebody that might be sitting over in that chair right over there. Oh, I got the connections with the bubbles, and we're going to put our two bubbles right on your bookie's fucking chin in about fucking two weeks, if you know what I mean. Have your bookies get ready, because they're about to get a beating. Absolutely. Make sure you look for those daily promotions. Today's show preview, uh, we got a bunch of different things we'll talk about. I mean, we've been killing it in horse racing a little bit. Yes, we have. Uh, Obviously, we got NBA news, Major League Baseball, and we have a little college football news. Ivy League says they're done for the year 2020. However, 
the big conferences says they will play in conference play. That's right. The Big Ten just came out with an announcement this morning. Uh, looks like the Big Ten is trying to, to keep play as a possibility. However, there will be no traveling uh, cross country. There's going to be no out of league play. If they can pull off the season, it will be in league play only. We'll talk about that for a little bit. That's fine with me. And I want to bring up a point real quick because I've had a lot of my really big whales call me and tell me, you know, Steve, we're fucked. This year is fucked, blah, 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 blah. Guys, you're completely wrong. As long as we have professional baseball, NFL, hockey, don't forget this. The new NBA season starts what, in December? Yeah, this year uh, they're planning to play uh, right before Christmas time. So just because we don't have college football doesn't mean we're fucked. The transition to these other sports are going to be very, very easy. And with the connections that I have, it's going to be easier for me to get inside information to make you more money uh, than we did before. So the people out there that think that we were fucked, not only are we not fucked, but we're going to make more money than you've ever fucking imagined on this new upcoming season. To, to add to that point, though, uh, you know, guys, COVID is definitely affecting our world, and it's probably going to continue, possibly through the winter, uh, into the spring, until there is a vaccine. However, money is going to be very important to everybody, and this is not going to be a year where you want to guess. You are going to need the knowledge that a guy like that can get and the information. So this isn't a year where you want to be guessing and playing around with money. You want to be on the right side, and he can get that information for you. Absolutely. fucking lutely They want to get a hold of us, Poppy. What do they got to do? Well, all they got to do is call us at 877-220-6540 or simply go to our website, VIPSportsLasVegas.com. If you put your phone number in there on our website, we'll simply uh, go ahead and get your free pick. Absolutely. fucking lutely Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook at VIP Sports LV. If you don't want to call, direct message me about doing business. I will get back with you immediately. If you're watching this podcast on YouTube, make sure you join the live chat for the first airing of each episode. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and post a comment. And uh, like I said, we read every one of them. We appreciate your support. Check out our absolute blowout winner merchandising line to up your swagger with the ultimate apparel for guys and gals who love betting on sports. Go to absoluteblowoutwinner.com and shop today. There's no better time than now to invest in yourself with my new virtual training course, Master Closer 101, which, by the way, we've sold 650 courses. 650 and, really smart people. And out of 650 people, all 650 people said it's the best VT system they've ever seen in their life. Now, to all my guys that have purchased Master Closer 101, I will be calling you guys this week so you can get what they call your monthly maintenance. What that is is that'll take all this stuff that I taught you in Master Closer 101 and I will show you how to apply it to your business. And if you're a business owner, I will show you how to apply it to your business and run your business better than your raggedy ass manager than you do that you have uh, managing your company right now. Monthly maintenance will get you a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting with me every single week to show you how to apply your tools that I taught you into real life and into money. I mean, let me ask you a question and be honest. You do like making money, correct? Correct. You're motherfucking right, guys. So. Make sure you take advantage of that and make sure you look for that phone call. Go to MasterCloser101.com today and be on your way to the top of the sales board and have your company at the top of the industry every week, every month, every year. You know, and these guys also need to understand if you're sitting there thinking, hey, uh, I'm a great salesman, and you may be. Uh, you've taken other sales courses. This sales course, you continue to develop new closing statements, new rebuttals. So this isn't stuff that's been around 30, 35 years. This is stuff they've never had, never put in their repertoire, and you can add to that. You're constantly developing stuff. So it's a sales course, guys, that constantly is being renewed, new material, and stuff that you can add and make yourself even better. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Hello, everybody. This is Steve Stevens. I want to be the first to congratulate you on taking the first step of becoming a master closer. This course is going to give you the life skills to be the best salesman you could possibly ever be. A guy that doesn't take no for an answer. A guy that's willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Remember, being a master closer isn't a skill. It's a way of life. It's what took me from a normal bottom guy to a multimillionaire overnight. This course is going to teach you how to turn your mouthpiece from a BB gun to an Uzi overnight. A guy that does whatever it takes to get the job done, but you have to apply yourself. I want you to take this course very, very serious. I want you to study it because it works. It's the same formula for success that made me a multimillionaire, and I want you to do the exact same thing. 
So I want you to apply yourself, stay focused. You can do anything you put your mind to as long as you're up for it. This course is going to give you absolutely everything you need from A to Z to be the best salesman, not only at your office, but in the world. I want to wish you guys good luck. Let's go get this money. Let's stay focused, stay dedicated, and you will get the results that you're looking for. Fair enough? Now, as promised in the beginning of the show, I said that I was going to do a giveaway today yes, and sir. I was going to change somebody's life by giving away the Master Closer 101 course valued at $598, okay? Yes. We made it very simple on what you have to do to enter the contest. What you need to do, listen close. Go to my last Instagram post and put invest in yourself. Go to my podcast, whether it's the uh, pre-taping or what's the, it called? The, the live chat. Whether it's the live chat or the show itself, put invest in yourself. And then what I need you to do is email me invest in yourself at admin at mastercloser101.com. Very simple. Somebody's about to change their life. Somebody's about to turn their mouthpiece from a BB gun to an Uzi, all because of your boy himself, El Scorcho, Steve Steve Aroni. Let me do it again. You go to my last Instagram post and put invest in yourself. Go to my podcast and put invest in yourself. And then email me at admin, A-D-M-I-N, at mastercloser101.com to have your chance to win the Master Closer 101 platform. That'll be the best couple of minutes you've ever spent in your life. Because if you get this course, guys, whether you win this here or whether you pay the money for it, it will definitely change your life. No doubt about it. Here's some questions. People keep asking me what's going on in Vegas right now. Well, we didn't shut down after 4th of July like I thought we would. Yep. I figured Las Vegas was just going to grab all this money and then shut down again. But everything is up and running. Uh, the hotels are up and running. Now, don't get me wrong. It's still a ghost town in these casinos. Oh, it is. I mean, it's not like what you think. I mean, even Red Rock, the local casino, all the way up to Mandalay Bay, the Aria. I just went to uh, Catch, as you've seen on that beautiful Instagram post I put uh, of uh, me and my girl Carly Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I had her little tits out on that picture for you guys out there <laughs> to motivate you a little bit. You know what I mean? Got to show off her beauty. But uh, it was dead. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the restaurants aren't packed like they were. So the casinos definitely are not making the money that you think they probably should be. No, and uh, it came out, uh, Penn Gaming owns Tropicana. They're about to do a bunch of layoffs. Uh, Caesars is merging with El Dorado. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, there's lots of talk about layoffs coming here and everything. So there's conflicting reports. You and I have heard reports that some casinos might be closing uh, temporarily uh, and other reports that stuff's staying open. So well, every look, day the, only, it the only thing I can report is, is these bookies are about to eat my fucking nuts. All we need is sports betting to come back. And even if every fucking casino shut down, you have heard of what they call offshore betting, haven't you? Oh. So you're going to be able to get your action in no matter what. Whether you get it in a local account in Las Vegas, whether you get it in New Jersey, wherever sports betting's legal, or you get your games in offshore, either way, it's not going to affect us from getting that fucking money. We had a slow start to 2020, and we're going to finish it with a motherfucking bang, and I'm going to break these bookies off like they've never been broke before. Remember. They don't call me bookie killer for nothing, Poppy. No, and you're motivated right now like I've never seen. I'm on the, I'm on the money train. Like I said, like I said, I, I got this money train running right through these bookies. You can either get in or get the fuck off and get ran over. It's up to you. But people are asking me what's going on with me right now. I'm in a great place. I'm motivated. I've been around my kids every single day. Uh, they're happy. Uh, they're getting ready to go back to school here pretty soon. But more importantly, my clients need me. And I just want you guys to understand that I've been working, sleeping, eating, breathing, sports betting every single fucking day. When we get back to baseball July 23rd, uh, I'm going to be more ready uh, than I've ever been in my entire life to make you more money. Remember one thing, guys. It's a trillion dollar industry sports betting. There's more money to be made betting sports than any other investment in the world. So make sure you take advantage of these promotions. By the way, in the last seven days, since our last podcast, we've had 97 orders uh, for sports betting, guys getting ready for July 23rd. Make sure you keep watching for my daily promotions. Don't wait till it's too late. You have an, a, a, an advantage. I run a promotion for $100. I run a promotion for $250. I'm saving you hundreds of dollars to get an early bird package. Don't wait until baseball starts and you have to spend top dollar. Right. You have the money, use your unemployment or use whatever the fuck you have and go to our website and sign up. And remember, 
Let's not let the players be the only ones to get paid. No, and, and these guys also, they need to understand that, you know, a studio like this, The Office, Steve's Lifestyle, this isn't fake, guys. This isn't a guy who gets up and says, hey, I want to watch this game tonight, so I'll circle this and tell guys I have information on it. He spends a lot of money to get this information. This isn't just a, a, a dog and pony show. So he's investing a lot of money to get the information to get you guys results. Yeah, but not only that, Poppy, you know, I got a, a new Rolls Royce. Yes, might even do. have a new Ferrari in the garage. You never know. It could be true. Might not be. But uh, you don't see me putting up pictures, flossing, trying to make myself look better than everybody else. No. I've actually downplayed my social media lately yeah. uh, just because I want you guys to know that I'm a human being just like you. Yeah. I bleed just like you do. I pay bills just like you do. My mental health goes in and out of being fucked up just like yours does. So I don't want to be like, look at me now. Now, July 23rd, when baseball's back, yeah, I'll start flossing again. I'll start putting $50,000 tickets. I'll start showing my lifestyle. But throughout the COVID, I just wanted to let you know that I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like you guys do, and I'm a down-to-earth type motherfucker. We have many days where I'm over at his house chilling. His kids are swimming with my daughter. We're having barbecue, just talking, watching movies. That, that, that's what it is. But when it comes down to business, guys, he's out there getting the sources to get you guys the money. Let's move right into sports betting, Poppy. Nevada Gaming Control Board signed off on a William Hill operating the sports books at the combined El Dorado Resorts and Caesars Entertainment as part of a pending merger. Let's break that down a little bit. Caesars is, is basically merging with El Dorado, who is basically William Hill, correct? Correct. So Caesar Sportsbook will now be William Hill, which kind of sucks because, as you know, Caesars is my spot. Yeah. And we used to be able to do whatever the fuck we wanted over there. My clients would come down. Guys, 80% of my whales that come into town, where were we, Poppy? At Caesars Palace. Caesars Palace. But it'll be okay. Uh, William Hill, we'll break them in like a fucking bucking bronco. We'll ride them motherfuckers until they ride like a normal-ass horse. You know what I mean? But... Uh, what do you think of this merger? Well, I personally play a lot of my action at William Hill, and I like uh, the online mobile app, so that, I like that. However, being here in Las Vegas, you like to have options. You like to have different books to be able to bet at for line value uh, and to be able to get your action in in different amounts. A lot of books here are going to William Hill, and it's cutting us off with being able to get limits in and have different odds and stuff. So I'm not loving that, that we're getting our options taken away. No, I don't either. And, you know, I'm a little surprised... FanDuel didn't make their presence out here in Las Vegas. I, I hope they do. They're off at uh, the Meadowlands. Uh, close friends of mine own that racetrack out in New Jersey. I wish FanDuel would get out here and get some presents. Because they have some you. big motherfucking cojones. They do. You know, with a guy like me, you put fucking FanDuel and allow me to bet 100000 a half a million, and a million a game, I'll, I'll give them a hurting like they've never fucking had before. Yeah, I mean, the, the limits that they have out there in New Jersey at, at FanDuel are, are spectacular. I know they take a lot of action, especially if you're a proven player out there. And FanDuel, if you're listening, yo, out here to Vegas. Anyway, let's move right into a little football. I'm going to give you guys the NFC West win totals. Once again, these are the NFC West win totals. According to William Hill, 91% of all betting tickets were on the over seven games for the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona picked up DeAndre Hopkins to go with quarterback Kyler Murray. I do think that they will win more than seven games. I see why everybody's betting that. Um, I see them definitely winning more than seven games. Steve Stevens says that's a safe bet. Now, the LA Rams, 80% of the tickets to the under eight and a half wins at minus 120. The over is even money. The Rams move into their brand new stadium this year. However, they're moving into their new stadium without a lot of their key players. Yeah, they are. That, that's one of the teams who uh, have, have chosen to go a bit younger. They've lost... Uh, Gurley. They've lost Gurley. They've lost some receivers. They've lost some uh, key defensive players. So the Rams are one of those iffy, iffy teams. You've got a team that was in the Super Bowl two seasons ago. Uh, you got a great coach in Sean McVay. They're coming into the new stadium. But they are in a very tough division. You're playing Seattle twice. You're playing San Francisco twice. Arizona. There's four losses right there. Yeah, Arizona, you just mentioned, much improved. So they have a very tough schedule. So that number right there is right about where it should be. For it's me, not the best bet on the board. Right. I'll give you that right now. But, you know, I, I could see why the public would bet that. Would I bet that? 
No, I wouldn't. No. So that, that, that's one to stay off. It, it is. It, it's a team like that that loses some players that can surprise the fuck out of you and win some crazy games for no apparent fucking reason. Right. So anyway, it is what it is. San Francisco 49ers, basically about 50% of the tickets wagered split the over 10 and a half wins at minus 120. The under 10 and a half wins is even money. So they're betting both sides on that. 10 and a half is pretty high, Poppy. It is high. I mean, another team who went to the Super Bowl last year showed a lot. Uh, but again, they're in that same division with the Rams, Seattle, Arizona. It's another ticket I think you don't touch that's fine what, better what, value what, on the board. What do you think is higher, that 10.5 total or my baby's mom? Uh, don't hate me. Uh, your baby's mom. <laughs> Suboxone in the house. Shout out to Suboxone and my baby's mom, Kelly. Keep staying focused. Keep staying sober, baby. You're doing a great job. Your teenagers really got you focused on that overdose. Anyway, moving on. Seattle, 85% of the tickets are on the over nine and a half wins at even money. The under is nine and a half at 120. What do you like in this one? You know, I like Russell Wilson. Uh, I, I like the Seattle team. Same division with those tough teams. Uh, but that number could easily land on nine. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's in that division. I'm not touching anything in that division. There's so much Agreed. more value on the board. We can't leave football here without stopping for one second. Uh, this week, Deshaun Jackson made himself look like a complete ass with some anti-Semitic remarks. I'm Jewish. Do I take personal offense to it? I don't. I'm not one of those guys who sits there and goes crazy. What I, what I personally would do is hit him in the pocketbook. I hope Philadelphia wakes up and hits him in the pocketbook. I hope uh, fans go and don't buy his merchandise. And I hope things happen like that. You had Julian Edelman today uh, from the New England Patriots offer to go take him to a Holocaust museum. And I think that's smart. I think educating somebody, that's the way to go. And I think hitting him in the pocketbook is the way to go. So, uh, well, look, man. I think every human being at some point has a little bit of prejudice bone in their body, yep. whether it's for the human race, whether it's for an opinion on something or whatever. The whole idea is to keep it to your motherfucking self. Yeah. You don't need to come out in public with everything if you don't like something. Right. Like, I mean, I've heard white people making fun of the statement, Black Lives Matter. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, black lives do matter 100%, and in my opinion, all lives matter. Correct. So... You know, you got to support the movement. There's been some bad shit going on. And, uh, you know, you got to support the movement, guys. Black lives do matter. All lives matter. And uh, police brutality and all the bullshit needs to fucking stop. Uh, another thing in the NFL, the, the name change with the Washington Redskins. And, and, guys, please don't. Does that bother me? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Correct. And, and if anybody does take offense to that, I, I appreciate you. I'm apologetic with you. And I understand it. But, listen. You know, the Cleveland Indians. Sometimes there's stuff in names where maybe they do it and maybe you can take it as, uh, you know, a good thing. Maybe, maybe they're trying to celebrate that culture in some ways. I don't think anybody ever intended it to be insulting to anybody. It's a celebration of that culture. It is. You, you know, the, these teams go back uh, the century. And uh, so, you know, I, I look at it like that. But if somebody has hard feelings or takes it offensive, I apologize to you. It's not that. But I, I think we're taking it a little bit too far, we're making these team change names. Absolutely. <laughs> we're definitely taking it too far. If you want to talk about what people are tripping about, look at NASCAR. Right. Everybody knows NASCAR started off the prohibition and selling illegal alcohol to start. It was a complete white-driven fucking redneck fucking... From the South. From the fucking South to start with. You know what I mean? Right. And... People look at it like, oh, it's a white sport. Why is Bubba coming in saying this, that, and the other? Uh, blah, blah, blah. See, I look at it completely different. I look at it as Bubba representing NASCAR, yeah. getting all these supporters behind him to understand what goes on in his race, yep. and it should make it bigger if they just embraced it. Yeah, Real I, fucking simple. I, I totally agree. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't blame them for wanting to ban the Confederate flag. I think it's time the Confederate flag's gone and everything like that. But, but I, I, I like the conversation. I like the conversation of Bubba bringing uh, the Well, when he had American those people walking behind him on yeah, the race track, awesome. it gave me the fucking chills. Yeah, you know it'll, what be, I mean? it'll be one of the most memorable scenes from the year 2020 and hopefully a long time to go. But the, the, the making teams change their name stuff, Amazon pulling Washington Redskins gear off the market and everything like that, Come on, guys. Like, I, I have some Redskin gear at home. I have every team at home. I celebrate that stuff. I, I'm not buying it because I'm against Indian culture. I, I love Indians. I, I've dated an Indian girl in the past. It, it's nothing. I'm not against anybody. But we're taking it a bit far with this now. And, and Especially you know, when things happened 100 years ago right. that we have no control over. Right. We weren't and born. And our ancestors... 
uh, whatever they did has nothing to do with what we're doing today. They're right. dead, gone, and it is what it is. But, you know, everything is fine with me, changing the names or whatever. Do what they need to do. Let's just play fucking sports and make some goddamn money. Right. Let, let's celebrate our culture. Let's celebrate our let's team. Celebrate let's celebrate life. Won. Yeah. You do like making money, correct? I'm Steve Stevens. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie. I'm the bookie killer. Whether you're here in town on business or to flat out gamble, don't forget, sports betting is a multi-billion dollar industry and you deserve your fair share. Call 877-220-6540 or go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com, mention this ad, and get a $500 personal play absolutely free. See you in the winner's circle. Anyway, let's move on to some Major League Division futures. As you guys know, I don't like futures, although the big skipper gave you out the future of the year, telling you who was going to win the World Series last year. Uh, and we'll bring him on the show before uh, the season starts and tell you who's going to win again. Uh, Al Scorcho, uh, you gave out uh, the Super Bowl winner. Oh, of course I did. I'm going to give that. it again before the season starts. I'm not worried about that. But, you know, I, I never agreed with giving a sports book money to sit in their account for fucking months and months and months when you have a small shot at winning. You could take that future money. I'll show you how to build the bankroll, betting one game a day, not every day. And by the way, let's not forget, the formula for success in sports betting is betting one game a day, not every day, and betting the same amount of money on every fucking game. That is the formula for success, and don't ever fucking forget it. But let's go over some futures anyway in the American League East. Yankees, minus 300. Love the Yankees, by the way. Yankees plus, but at the same time, Minus 300 isn't worth betting a fucking future for. Especially Go to the blackjack table or bet the fucking Yankees in the first game and make more money than you will on the future. Right, especially in a shortened 60-game season, guys, which, which we don't know how that's going to react. Laying $3, I don't think that's a smart wager. Uh, don't do it at all. And if you do, you're a fucking moron because you can't get off enough to make it worth it. And if you lose, you're going to need tampons for your asshole for the next fucking 90 days. No kidding. Anyway, uh, Tampa Bay Rays plus 340. Red Sox, 10 to 1. Let's move on to the American League Central. Minnesota, 140. I kind of like that. I like that too. Cleveland, plus 240. White Sox, plus 325. Let's move on to the American League West. Astros, 150. Oakland A's, plus 220. Angels, 6 to 1. Let's move on to the NL East. Braves, 2 to 1. You like that? You know, I do, but again, betting futures here, we don't know what's going to happen with Corona. We don't know if a team's going to get infected. I, I, I think futures on this season is just a bet you really It is, but make. I will tell you that I, I do like the next one. Washington Nationals plus 250? Pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good odds. Mets plus 280. Let's move on to the NL Central. Best odds of any division, by the way. Reds plus 220. I like that. I told you on last week's podcast, uh, I think that's the team to take over 31 wins uh, on the season. I do like that a lot. Cubs, plus 240. I like those odds, too. Yeah. NL West, Dodgers, minus 650. If you're dumb enough to bet a future <laughs> minus 650, I have oceanfront property to sell you in Las Vegas, Nevada. Just give me a call. I got a beautiful two-story right on the ocean for you for $3 million. Yeah, guys, the Dodgers, unless something really weird happens, are going to win that division. Uh, but you don't lay six fifty on anything. You whether don't lay six fifty race, on nothing. Correct. Whether it's a horse race, whether it's anything, you don't lay that kind of money. You keep it in your pocket. Uh, Diamondbacks, 8-1. to one. Padres, 10-1. to fucking one. Let's go over this little feel-good story that they wrote, Poppy. We'll talk about a little bit about the former Marine and the college football wide receiver. All right, after that, we're going to talk a little college football as well. Uh, a former Marine and a college football wide receiver named Philip Blanks uh, heard screams for help in his neighborhood. Blanks, 28, ran barefoot to a nearby apartment building and made the most important catch of his life because a fire-forced mother had to throw her three-year-old son from the third-floor balcony, and Blanks was able to catch the child before he hit the ground. Unfortunately, the baby's mother was killed in the fire. Blanks said, the mom is real hero because she sacrificed herself to save her child. You can actually watch this video online if you look for it. Uh, you know, shout out to you, Mr. Blanks. Uh, you, you did a great thing. Shout out to the mother. Sadly, uh, she passed away. Um, that actually brings me up to another story. Uh, Maya Rivera, who uh, is a celebrity who was on the show Glee, um, she took her three-year-old son out for a boat ride. I think it was a pontoon boat uh, in uh, the greater Los Angeles area a couple of days ago. And uh, something happened. They got thrown out of the boat. 
She was able to put her son back in the boat, but unfortunately she was not able to get back in the boat. Um, lifeguards found the little boy in the boat. They tried to do a rescue search for uh, Miss Rivera. However, they were unsuccessful at finding her. So uh, the little boy was found. Uh, it's now going to a recovery search for Miss Rivera. They haven't found her quite yet. And a little bit of advice to my fellow vegans out there. If you're going to go to Lake Mead and get drunk and get in the water, don't go in the water with a pair of Timberlands or your work boots uh, because you can't swim, motherfucker. They bring you to the ground. There's been several deaths out here at Lake Mead. People just disappearing. They go into the water. Uh, they have a fucking little target raft that they go out there. Yeah. You're not at home in the swimming pool, guys. Those things will draft you into the middle of the lake to where you don't have the energy to swim in, and then it's lights out after that. Yeah. So if you're going to go to Lake Mead, number one, the water's dirty as fuck. It's about 125 degrees out there. So if you're looking for some chap feet, a sunburn, and a bad attitude, go enjoy Lake Mead. And, and, and guys, if you're out there on the lake celebrating summer or whatever, if you're drinking there, either have somebody else watch the kids. Don't bring the kids in the water. I can tell you personally, at Steve Stevens' house, when his kids are in the pool, those kids have water gear on, and he is constantly watching his kids. He's not checking scores. He's not sitting back drinking, doing other stuff. He is attentive to his children. Those kids don't leave his sight when they're in the water. Well, of course not. And that's the same way you should treat your fucking children as well. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about college football and where we're at, Poppy. All right, so college football, it came out yesterday. The Ivy League, unfortunately, had to cancel its uh, winter sports. So there will be no Ivy League football uh, or basketball. Kind of sucks if you're a Princeton or a Harvard fan. Obviously, in football, guys, those aren't major schools that we bet on. Uh, college basketball, we definitely have some plays on that, so it's kind of sad. Uh, the Big Ten this morning announced that if they're able to salvage the football season, at least, uh, and possibly basketball, but at least for football, uh, it will be a conference-only schedule. So there'll be no, you know, out-of-conference schedule. However, there's lots of great teams in the Big Ten, so we'll still have those matchups if they can pull it off. But uh, schools like Ohio State, uh, they just had to stop their mandatory or their uh, voluntary workout program. Uh, them combined with another school, they just found 39 cases of positive COVID. And, uh, you know, guys, to be just frank with you, you guys are keeping up on this as well, your sports fans. It's not looking real good that we're going to be able to pull off college football, and the NFL is starting to be uh, in jeopardy. Uh, I don't think that those are 100% by any means. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to pull that off. Let's get through basketball, let's get through baseball, and let's get through hockey if we can pull all three of those off. Well, let's get you to up our production a little bit. Yeah. Where, where the fuck is my picture of me in the $100 bill? Well, what, I, what, what happened here, Poppy? I, I, you I, got I, me with a Roku fucking menu. Where, yeah. Where's all our logos, well, I, bro? I, I think because Steve Stevens took a little extra time getting here, uh, I think that they go oh, off I don't know, bro. We might have to cut that check down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, that, my that, God. That, that's our fabulous producer, Lily's <laughs> job now, not, not, not paparazzi's. Anyway, moving on to NBA. As you guys know, the NBA teams are in Orlando, in the Orlando bubble. Opening night is three weeks away. Be ready to fucking roll. We got a big UFC main event this weekend, yes, we Poppy. Do. You want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, yes, Kamaru Usman versus uh, Jorge Masvidal. Uh, Usman is a 365 favorite. Masvidal is plus 265. Uh, this is the first fight over at the UFC island. Uh, this is going to be on, I believe, uh, ESPN+. Plus. Uh, they're charging a special, guys. They're doing $85, and that will get you this fight, plus 12 months of ESPN+. Plus. So they're charging $85. This will be a very good fight. Um, some more odds on the fight. Um, Usman via TKO is plus $1.88. Usman via decision is plus $163. Masvidal via knockout is plus $11. Masvidal via decision is plus $11. Uh, the fight going the full distance is plus $1.38. The fight to not go the distance is plus $1.88, and a draw is plus $5. These guys do not like each other. This will be a good fight. And it's definitely not going to be a draw. No, and there's, there's going to be some other pretty good fights uh, on this card uh, as well. Um, I can't Volkov uh, fights. Uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. Like I told you guys, I'm not an expert at UFC a, a, by any means. I do watch it quite a bit, but this will be probably the best card that we've had here in quite a while. Anyway, guys, it's like I told you before, I've been running these contests. I've been giving out cash. D don't think I'm going to be doing that every single week. Will I give out T-shirts? Will I give out a signed plaque or something like that uh, during the season? Absolutely. But you better take advantage of this while I'm at my weak point. I know America's not doing good. I know nobody's working out there. So I look to help out people as much as I can. Don't forget, if you want to be entered into the drawing to win Master Closer 101, you got to go to my last Instagram post and put invest in yourself. 
you have to go to my podcast, put invest in yourself, and you have to email me invest in yourself at admin at mastercloser101.com. Somebody's winning that $598 platform, and I hope to God it's you. I'll probably give a few runner-ups, a couple absolute blowout winner t-shirts, just to show you my appreciation for following us. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe to my channel, and if you can, share it with a friend as well. But I told you the rules on entering the contest. Somebody's going to win it. I look forward to giving that out. I'm going to do that either Saturday or Sunday on Instagram Live. And in the meantime, guys, I couldn't be more excited. I'm in a great place right now. Sports betting's coming back. VIP sports doors are open 100%. Make sure you DM me. Make sure you go to our website. If you're looking for a free pick, you can put your phone number in now and we'll call you uh, when it's time. Go to my website, VIPSportsLasVegas.com. Take advantage of buying one of those package. I suggest you start with a $250 VIP week of service. We'll flip your bank account like a world-class fucking gymnast. It's time to build the bankroll, and it's time to get paid. We started off 2020 very slow, like a dirty hoe. Now we're going to end it like a pimp and a motherfucking multimillionaire. I'm going to finish. Remember one thing. When you're wondering, have you ever ran a race to lose, paparazzi? Never. And remember this. It's not how you start. It's how, it's you, how you fucking finish. And don't you guys ever forget that. You guys got to get positive. You got to get excited. And you got to get your mental capacity in a place that's going to take you to the next level. Forget the past. We're looking forward to our future. That's all I care about is my future. And my future is brighter than any motherfucking star you see in that sky. And I want to do the same thing for you. I love you guys. You can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Your mind is a very powerful weapon. If you're going to invest in somebody, invest in yourself because you're the best asset that you could possibly have. Make sure you purchase Master Closer 101. Get that VT course to take you to the next level because I promise you this, during these times, going back to work, you're neither going to be better than you've ever been in your life. Even if you don't go back to work and you work from home, you're going to need to be better than you ever have in your entire life. Learn how to turn your mouthpiece from a BB gun to an Uzi overnight. I want to let you guys know one thing. You can accomplish anything you put your mind to as long as you're focused and you're dedicated. Hard work and dedication is the formula for success in this life if you don't know by now. Nobody's just going to give you a handout. Nobody's ever given me fucking nothing. I've had to earn every single dollar that I've ever got. And I'm going to continue to do that not only for myself but for you. Because I love you guys and you deserve to have the finer things in life and you remember that. You don't take no for an answer. You don't any, let anybody steal your dreams. And like I said, set goals, accomplish them, and that's how you will get your way to the top. I've done it several times. I've actually been kicked down the mountain several times to the very bottom. It's not how you fall. It's how you get back up. On the behalf of VIP Sports and myself, we love you. Get ready for baseball. Get ready for basketball. Make sure you buy one of those packages, and I'm going to break your motherfucking bookie's neck like he's never been broke before. We'll see you next week. Make sure you enter that drawing, and remember, don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. I love you. Peace. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make $100,000 a day. We play with big cash and we're blowing money fast. Riding in a plush Benz trunk full of money bags. I need a G for every light bulb on the Vegas strip. Naked bitches in my mansion dancing to some player shit. Made a grip on the grind, but I started out with nothing. Dealt me a bad hand, but I still won bluffing. I'm Steve Stevens. I make G's when I'm sleeping. Some cow will shot me up as they ain't want to see me breathing. Nice try, but my bosses never die. Fresh out.